Hi there, this is Axiom. I'm back for a foundry prep video this time. I've um I've been building a lot of stuff for Raiders of the Serpent Sea over the previous months. And what I've done now is I've managed to figure out how I can build it all into a module so it can get shared. So this is just a quick video to go over what I've built. The manifest will be in the description for the video. So let's take a look at what's in here. I've made a landing page that you can fill out with your players' images and names. Basically, you'll be able to go in here, click on here and change these tiles out for your players' images, etc. So that would be nice and easy. You can use this sort of sidebar here to make any other extra pages that you want for your landing page. I've kept it fairly simple on this one. The main thing you're getting is all of these compendiums with all the maps that I have created for it. And I've broken it all down by chapters in here. So you can have a look through the compendium and you should see there's, there's, there's a fair few in there. I'll keep adding to them over time done a bunch of maps for you but also I have done a tokens page for Raiders of the Serpent Sea so I've started to use Midjourney to generate images for a lot of the NPCs that will come up in the game and I've uh, basically laid them all out here in the tokens page so that they're nice and easy to have a look at. You have to link them to the correct character pages obviously I'm not supplying those just the images here that you can use. So let's take an example here. Let's go for the travel the Fang Sands. Once you're in here, so the actual canvas is only the middle section here. All of this is just in the padding around and this is all invisible to your players, etc. And then I've used a few modules in, in this case, mainly monk style triggers to uh, make it so that you can uh, so you can go through the images and show them to your players at the appropriate time. And I've labeled them up to where what locations that they will come up to in the in the story as well. So that should help. So double clicking on any of these will will load the image. You'll have to replace the map here with the, with one from the pack. Obviously, I'm not supplying that yeah these sort of theater of the mind scenes there are plenty of them in here and um yeah they all follow this a similar thing here you've got space outside for bringing your pcs and some of your npcs and obviously your monsters i've left a section down here for um scene transitions if you wanted to actually start making up extra links i haven't done it yet but i might do a bit of that later once i have a more of a full set and then some some of the more key environments i've broken out and given you a sort of a page for those etc as well it's a little simpler but um yeah i think some of them needed a bit of that and then if i have made a map for something i have i do i am sort of trying to supply it and put it in here as well slowly but surely adding to them but uh, this is actually the attack of the uh of the war clan after they've been in through the tower of Kekel. so there's one example there of a scene so yeah, certainly a lot of theatre of the mind scenes, but also a few other ones that might be of use that are a bit more generic as well. So built this sort of generic lodge, uh, Viking lodge that, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all been set up for you. So you can use some of that. I've managed to make a Viking ship scene for you as well. So you can use that. There are better boat tiles available out there, but you'd have to go looking for them. Um, but I'm, I've at least given you something that you can you can use if you're happy with it for now on that one. And as I keep going here, I'll keep making more and more of these maps and adding them into this module. And uh, yeah, I've checked it and it seems to work OK when I share this now. So hopefully it will be of use. I've added a few extras for rollable tables as well. So there are all these different name generators for Bendor and for Raiders as well. So that hopefully that will be useful. And like I said, as I think of more and more things to add in here that I can, I will. And if there is anything else that I could add to this pack that will be useful, let me know. But as I go through and finish the campaign off, I'll keep adding to this as I go. And uh, yeah, you should see it update. But like I said before, the link should be in the uh, video description below. So you should be able to get the manifest from there. I hope it's useful to some of you, even if it only gives some ideas. That's this video for now. Thank you.